tell me your other question and then maybe I'll wait until eight because other people might have that question to answer them. Okay, my other question, I'm gonna go to my email because it'll be shorter. <laughs> it's a bit of a complicated question, but I was just answering this question just now of what strategies are you using to address barriers to implement the action personally and in your network? So this, my action will be to, um, in the fall semester, I'm hoping to um, do a, 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 a network climate action with my students in my animal communication class um, at the university level um, for food waste reduction and for plant-based diet, plant-rich diet. Mm -hmm. And I've taught this class five or six times now, and each year I feel funny about it because I feel that I, I have to be really, really careful to avoid potential conflict of interest because I'm grading these students. And so I need to scrupulously avoid any appearance of undue influence on them. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I want to tell them to all go vegan now, <laughs> you know? Um, but the class actually is about animal communication. It's not directly about sustainability or climate change or animal welfare. Mm -hmm. Although there is a contemporary ethical issues component. So it fulfills a course requirement for graduation that they take a contemporary ethical issues class. So we have room to discuss how we are affecting these amazing animals that we're finding out all about their communication systems. How are we affecting their environments? How are we using them in the world? But I've always had to hold back on explicit, or I always have felt really that I have to hold back on explicitly encouraging them to go plant-based or to take other actions and, and just hope that the, what we learn will speak for itself. And, and I always regret that. And, and now my concern for the planet is just outweighing everything else. So I, I, I just wanted some guidance or has anybody else, is anybody else in this position that you're not, I mean, I think some of the high school teachers are actually teaching about sustainability. So it's, it's okay for them to do this, but for me, it's a little off topic. Mm -hmm. Um, so, Victoria, that's a really big question. And what university are you teaching at? University of Hawaii. Oh, okay. Great. Um, which campus? Manoa. Oh, okay. So, um, Victoria, I wanted, I, I think since your question is kind of specific, and I have some insights because we also teach a climate solutions course, and it's a little different because it is on topic, but also the idea of convincing students in your class. So can, if we don't get to it before you need to sign off today, can we, you know, let's arrange another time to send me an email. We can talk about it. I'd love that. I'd love that. But I will, I'm pretty awake right now. Cause I, so I might just try to stay on for a little while. Okay. So let's see where this goes. Cause that's a quite specific, maybe we can generalize it, but, um, but your second, your first question definitely will get to. I want to go through a few slides, and that's actually one of my sure, sli sure. slides about how can we continue this community and what ideas people have. Thank so, you. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. So welcome, everybody. It is a little bit after 8, so we're going to start. And Hi, Mariana. How are you? Hope Hi, Marissa. How are you? Um, and we have 19 people on the call, so yeah, good good number to start. And uh, this is our last scheduled office hours, but if people, so we uh, make sure you're muted. I think Parisa, that's you. Oops. Okay. Um, so I can do office hours next week if people have questions, but I probably. Since this is, I think, our last scheduled one, I probably won't do it unless I see you asking some questions in Facebook or sending an email to the Civic Ecology Lab email or um, in the uh, WhatsApp group. So if there's a need, we can do it, but we don't really have one plan for next week. So welcome to today's. And um, I do have a few slides to introduce. And certainly, if you have questions, post them in the chat group. 
So one, I wanted to say that I was looking over the results from the surveys this morning, and you guys are doing a super job on your network climate action plan. So I know there's been tons of surveys and forms and everything to fill out. So I really, really appreciate you filling these out and that you're reflecting on the panic and other principles and how you apply them to your network action plans. And especially appreciate it because I know you can't just go outside a lot of you and go over to a friend's house and, and do things you would like to be doing. All right, so don't forget that our final webinar is tomorrow. And we have Dr. Fatima Delgado from Barcelona. She's originally from Ecuador. And I last week, I think it was in office hours, yeah, I presented a few slides from her sustainable tapas project. So she was in a network climate action. It wasn't a course, we called it a fellowship, but very similar, same materials as what you're covering. And so she's gonna talk about her network climate action, which was sustainable meals with friends. And then she's gonna, and she's followed up and actually been trying to launch a sustainable tapas project um, across the European Union and even maybe more broadly. So she's also gonna talk about how her action within her fellowship, within her work with Cornell, led to her doing some more work afterwards and expanding that. All right. So we will have on May 15th an opportunity for you to present your final presentations. And these will be slide presentations, PowerPoint presentations, and we'll do it on Zoom. Although we can, for some people, you can send us a presentation recorded beforehand if you can't go on Zoom live because of your uh, data limitations. So I'm just gonna explain what this is. It'll be May 15th. I think you received a link where you can sign up for different times throughout the day. You have to register if you're gonna present and it can be, you'll register for not a specific time, but a one hour time slot. And then you'll go sometime within that hour. Uh, anyone can listen whether you present or not. So anyone's welcome to come out throughout the day and we'll post the schedule before May 15th. If you are presenting, and I encourage you to present, it's a lot of fun for us to hear about what you're thinking and what you're doing. And it's a good opportunity for you to get feedback. We don't have the staff time to offer you individual feedback on your plans, but if you do take the time to do a pres presentation, you'll get feedback. So this is your opportunity to get feedback. Presenters each have five minutes to present and then there'll be five minutes for feedback from the instructors and other participants can ask questions. So you have a total of 10 minutes, but only five minute presentation. You should use five slides and you'll have to send them to us beforehand so that we can all organize them and get them ready to go. And if you cannot present in person, as I mentioned, if you can't present on Zoom, Send us your power presentation beforehand on an MP3 file. I think that's what those files are called or MP4. And then we will play it during one of the time slots. Okay, so, and we'll send this to you. It'll be, uh, UA will explain where you can find it starting this Friday, starting, yeah, in two days on the edX Edge platform. Um, and we'll send it in an email, but if you're presenting, as I mentioned, you have five slides. Your first slide should include your name. You can include your organization too, where you're from, what action you chose, like uh, educating women, plant-rich diet, reducing food waste, and what network. A lot of you, it'll be your family because you couldn't go out, so that's fine. Or maybe your friends if you were doing something using social media. Uh, what you did or what you plan to do, because we know some people couldn't carry out their actions within this five-week course how you applied the lectures and readings. You've already been doing that in your weekly uh, um, action plan responses and I think in the discussion board also. So this should be something you've already been thinking about. Results, if any, to date. For example, if you were doing, uh, just hypothetical, trying to get women, uh, trying to get your network to contribute to an organization that supports women's health, did you get anybody to contribute or did you contribute? And then your future plans. Do you plan to continue this? And if so, how? So those are your five slides. 
Again, we'll send this out to you so you don't have to remember this. And the presentations are different from your final action plan. That's due May 19th. That'll be submitted through the edX Edge platform. And you'll submit your final action plan form. You've been working on this every week. Um, so you'll just do your final revision so that we know at least at the end of the course, what was your plan? And if you had accomplished something, what did you accomplish? And then there also be an evaluation survey on the course. Okay, so um, that's all I have. Uh, I was I wanted to ask you to type in the chat if you have any ideas about continuing our network. And also, if any of you are collaborating on climate actions, I've seen some discussion of that on WhatsApp, but I didn't really understand any details. So you can type that in the chat. In the meantime, um, I think Alexandra, what, uh, Victoria, I think is her name from yes. Hawaii, yes. had a question similar to my number one question. Victoria is a teacher. Victoria, do you just teach at a university or do you also teach in the public schools? Just at the University of Hawaii. Okay, great. So you're an, a professor at, yeah. the, at the University of Hawaii and she's interested in continuing our, the climate action network are you mentioned teachers are you particularly interested in a group for teachers victoria well there have been some really great responses from a couple of teachers from several teachers um who all seem to be named jen <laughs> in the um comments and and i really i i i've been in the thick of my own semester and i haven't been able to be in, in touch very much with anyone and would really like to be part of a group of them so we can support each other. Mm -hmm. Because we seem to be doing climate actions in our classes. Mm -hmm. So great. Um, so I don't, so I, we can't give you the names of people, but there's several things we could, do. I mean, you could do if you can identify the people through the discussion board. Are, are you on Facebook also? Yes. So because there's Jennifer Vernuski, I'm not sure if she's on the call, from Pennsylvania, and she teaches in an online high school. The high school was online before COVID, so, mm -hmm. um, so she has been posting, um, she's been pretty, she's been quite active, and so she might be somebody. Um, so, I, you know, certainly there's opportunities. Either you can, you know, sort of find out who these people are, post something on Facebook, to ask people to join you, maybe mm -hmm. you can continue. We'll keep this Facebook group up so we could just continue in our Facebook group, or you can certainly form your, your own Facebook group. Thank um, you. I did send messages to a couple of the people that I recognized, but I, I just know that a couple of them are not, don't seem to be on the Facebook. Okay. Hmm. Group. So we could, if you formed a group or had another announcement, we could include it in our email next week too. So in other words, you know how we always list in our email each week that several people form their own WhatsApp groups? I'm not sure if anybody formed their own Facebook group, but you know, so, so Victoria, if you think of anything that seems like it'd be appropriate to include in our weekly email about continuing a smaller group for teachers, and you know, maybe if you even wanted people to get in touch with you, if you felt comfortable sharing your email. Okay. Um, Thank the, you. The, our weekly email goes to around 800 people, so just be aware of that. Okay. Um, or, you know, so in, in right. terms of what you feel comfortable in terms of sharing. So, yeah, so just be in touch. Um, okay. but I'm looking at the chat, um, and there's some other responses to this idea about con continuing, so you might take a look at that also. Um, so Ria Sat is interested in continuing. He's not a teacher. I think he posted on the WhatsApp that he, I can't remember what kind of firm he works for. Um, so, but I think there's gonna be a lot of people interested in continuing. So just, you know, let us know, Victoria, what format works best for you. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so um, Yue, did you wanna show you want me to stop sharing, UA?
and oh so i'm just looking at the chat for a minute i'm gonna stop sharing so that you can share but um looks like thing is collaborating with a fellow on circular economy which is really cool i don't know if you wanted to post anything more about that Okay, so you are the, you there? Yes. Did yes. you want to share anything about the final uh, project or, and any of the survey results? Yes. Um, let me go through each of them. Um, as because we are talking about signing up for presentations, I just want to point out I also put the link in the chat. Uh, this is for um, English um, presentations. We send out this sign up link in the email, in this week's email. And so for uh, English speakers, and then uh, you go, uh, this link direct you to this page, and then you will see there's a sign up spreadsheet. So what you are uh, uh, doing, um, you can do is just uh, put your name, your email, and just briefly, you don't have to be like too much, just briefly tell us what kind of action you did, are you planning to do? So we have a sense who are presenting about what, and uh, then just uh, fill your uh, name, like um, Maria mentioned, uh, fill your name in a, a one hour time um, um, period. And uh, um, we hope you uh, to join for the whole hour, um, because we're not sure like who, um, uh, if you uh, uh, put your name here, we will likely to just uh, use this order. Uh, but sometimes uh, we may, uh, you know, uh, we may uh, some some people may take a little more time or less time. So we're not sure exactly if you are fitting in that ten minutes. But each on average, if each student get ten minutes total, including five minutes presentation, no more than five minutes, and then you have five minutes uh, to get feedback from uh, from Marianne, from me, and from other uh, you know students. And uh, um, the, so we offer a uh, four hours of feedback session. Once this, uh, those time slots are filled out, we will add more if necessary. So, and uh, once you fill out your name here, uh, for example, you are signing up for um, uh, eight to nine session, and then uh, please upload your slides to eight to nine folder. So, um, in that way, it's easier for uh, the host, Marianne, or me to locate your, your slides to uh, share, screen share with everyone, okay? And then please upload your slides like, you know, like, Marianne, when do you have, uh, you know, the preference, when do you want to receive the slides? Um, I didn't organize, oh, yeah, they're all in the folder, right? So, yeah. um, latest, very very latest by thursday night our time like thursday five o'clock let's say that'd be may 14th yeah so just to try to let's see try to upload your your slides a day earlier like a day before the presentation uh, so it's easier for us to download and organize otherwise it will you know we don't want to take more time to to find your slides during the, the sessions uh, so this is uh, for English uh, presentations, and we have uh, uh, different instructions sign up for Chinese presentations. I will talk about that later. And then uh, for, uh, I will want to just go through a few results we have in week four, which is last week. Uh, by the way, we don't uh, have an action plan update this week because soon you will receive uh, a link to submit your final report. So we will likely to send out this um, on the next uh, early next week. Uh, so so this week, if you would really want to help you, like you can kind of you, if you are missing any assignments, um, you can go back to to watch the the video lectures, do the readings or any discussion posts, and uh, um, and the next week you'll be uh, submitting your your final report. So this is from last week. We uh, this I just want to show you a few results. Uh, first question we ask you like uh, which kind of a panic principles you learned from uh, week three in your uh, climate action. So we have five principles, and this is the results uh, from um, uh, one third of the class. So we see, Marianne, do you want to uh, interpret a little bit, or this is a very straightforward? So, so that I kind of got my so. The, um, these are the five panic principles. And so, I mean, I think it's fairly obvious that 
the one that most people are using is personable, personal. So one-on-one -on -one communication or communicating with a small number of groups, a small number of individuals. And, the, and but yeah, you can see, so accountable is the least being used. So that's, which makes sense because, you know, sometimes it feels a little uncomfortable to make friends or family accountable to you. Uh, all right, so um, then we have some open-ended questions. For, exa for example, how you apply. Uh, so, well, because we have a lot of Chinese participants, so we get a lot of Chinese characters, um, uh, but we also see some English ones, like, uh, you know, network, app, you know. Uh, and then uh, it's a bit hard to probably present one by one. And uh, um, we hope from your final uh, uh, report, we'll be able to kind of summarize some of uh, your uh, responses and share more with, uh, with uh, everyone. So yeah, uh, that is uh, the, as we heard, um, that is uh, the, the results. And then for this week, I just want to go through the platform uh, one more time. <laughs> uh, so, so now you see we have uh, almost all the weeks, all the materials available, uh, except the final report submission. So this, uh, you will see this tab um, early next week. Uh, we haven't opened this section yet, uh, but for week one, uh, week five, uh, the current week, I just want to remind everyone, for this week, we kind of ask you about uh, the feedback for the learning um, activities again. So if you see a set of questions under each uh, tab, uh, uh, I re we really appreciate, uh, we, we kind of, uh, we only have two questions for each unit. For example, for lecture presentations, so we ask you two questions and then, um, for the reading is the same. We have two questions here. Uh, those questions are, are same as uh, week one, but we just want to ask you again after over these uh, five weeks, how do you feel now? And uh, it's very, uh, it's, it, it won't take too long for you. And then we just want to you and, and discussions again, just two questions and then please check them and then submit, okay? And then once you submit them um, and re, uh, you will see a thank you note and that means you already submitted and you don't have to do it again. But when you refresh the page, you may see the questions are showing up again, but don't worry about it. As long as you submit once, that's okay. So this is about the, um, the feedback questions. Uh, we have total five sets of them. So under uh, video lectures, readings, webinar, discussion, and social media. And in the webinar, um, please do the webinar one after the Thursday webinar. Uh, Marin, uh, do we have any questions about this? I saw some chats. No, I don't think so. Does anybody have any questions about final assignments, final presentations? Um, and we have uh, some notes here saying like uh, we, uh, we don't have, uh, you don't have uh, any uh, update here, uh, but we will post uh, uh, this, um, um, you know, earliest by Friday. If not, we will post this on, on, on early next week. And uh, you can sign up your, uh, the presentation here, which is on May 15th. And then early next week, um, we will post uh, the, um, the submission link here. So you will see at the bottom of the course page, there's a separate um, section called final report submission. So uh, in this page, you will be uh, able to fill out the report as well as a, a, a post course survey uh, to give us some feedback. And, and the final report, when we talk about your action plan or your network action plan, it's the same thing. So sorry that we're using different terminology, but um, it's basically the action plan that you filled out, I think it was in week two, and then three, yeah. four, you kind of didn't have to fill it out again, just sort of talk about any revisions. And so the final week will be more similar to week two, but with all the revisions, changes, and also the added information you have from having gone through the readings and the lectures. Yeah, 
So basically, it will be very similar to the one in week two, uh, but it will we ask you to reflect a little more, uh, elaborate more on like what, what you have done or uh, or like um, what you are planning to do. Marianne, do you want to talk a little bit more about like do we expect them to actually implement it or like in some cases it could be just a plan? Um, so it's no, I mean. Normally, we would expect people to implement something, but with COVID, I know some of you have. You've worked with your family, you've worked with your social media like Instagram, so that's great. But if you have a plan only, that's fine also. Okay. Um, uh, Yudish said, can I comment on previous webinars? Yes, you can still comment on previous webinars there. Uh, that's an assignment link and all the assignment links will be available until May 19th. So you, any assignments that you missed, you can go back and do them. Does that, you wait, does that, um, do you want to add anything there? Uh, no, I think, yeah. So uh, although we encourage you to finish it, finish it each week, uh, but now uh, uh, we are open, like be flexible. Like you can, if you uh, missed uh, the discussion in week two, now is a good time to go back to, to finish that. And then uh, I just want to remind once again, we, uh, we, uh, we expect you to have a total five discussion posts, one webinar reflection, and then um, I think two for each week, uh, two comments for each week. So that total is 10 comments. Uh, so I just want to remind everyone uh, you know, who use the edX Edge platform. Uh, so you can check how many uh, you have done. I just want to take um, uh, this um, strong student with, as an example. So you can use your username, uh, which uh, showed up at the top uh, right corner, and then search your username, search, and then you show posts by your username again. And then here you will see how many discussion you started, how many comments you have. So this discussion started includes both discussion posts and the webinar reflections. So in the end, we would like to see six, at least six discussions started and at least 10 comments finished. 10 comments include like two for each week. So we have total five weeks. So, so, so uh, if you, uh, I think it will be helpful if you just uh, search and check if you have enough. If not, go back to each week and then to, uh, to, to, to finish. Yeah, so the reason it's six discussions is because your webinar reflection counts as a discussion. So you have yeah. five, one for each week in the discussion board and then you have your webinar reflection. Yeah, so if you go to the discussion tab, uh, you will see, uh, you know, we have actually six discussion boards. One is a webinar reflection, but you don't have to comment on each other's reflection. We hope you'll comment on each other's discussion posts, uh, which, you know, followed by the guiding questions. And uh, if you want to, uh, you know, um, uh, complete, see them, and you can go to each week and under the uh, discussion unit, you will see the specific questions that, guiding, that guide your, your answers. So, um, yeah, so, so we have a question, how many pages does it have to be um, for the final report or your final action plan? It's a form, so it doesn't have to be any number of pages. Just fill in the answers to the form. It'll be very similar to that. Maybe you want to show the form from week two, UA? Oh, yes. So it will be very similar um, to the one in week two. If you, but in week two, because it's like, it's, you know, in the early uh, beginning of the, the, the course. So we just uh, ask you to draw down some ideas. Uh, but now it's the, the end of the course. We want you to be more specific about what, what you have done or what you are planning to do. Uh, so we basically will all, uh, ask you again, which actions uh, you, you already took or you are planning to do. And then, and then how, did you implement or how will you plan to do it? Let me just, uh, so it will be very similar to this one. And then uh, basically you just, uh, let me just do a test. Um, uh, basically you will just fill out uh, what, uh, 
what your plan action plan is and uh, uh, what kind of network you want to influence or persuade and uh, uh, we have some guiding questions so don't worry about the lens so you will follow the questions and answer them um, but for the open-ended questions we def definitely um, uh, we have some open-ended questions uh, this is about the uh, the audience I will just uh, do a test quickly go through oh. okay this is another one mostly online uh, very likely we will have the very similar questions and but we have the open-ended questions that here um, we want you to be brief but we also want you to be you know you know tell something not just uh, two words uh, we want you at least uh, you know write a short paragraph to elaborate your ideas to tell us your barriers uh, and your your actions and your your strategies any other questions marian um let's see if i missed week two submission of briefing about our action plan so i will need to fill both our action plan final submission and week two also uh, why not uh, you kind of, uh, because uh, uh, why not you, because we haven't uh, released uh, the final link yet. Uh, uh, why not you just uh, briefly go through week two, just get a sense. So in that way, we have your data recorded. What do you think, Marianne? Yes, I mean, that would be ideal. Yeah. Uh, but to be very honest, when we look at the certificate, We'll prob we will not, is this correct, UA? Yeah. We will, we will only count the final one, but we feel like the week, you know, week two can at least get you thinking. Well, so how does, I don't know if you want to add anything for UA from our point of view about data. And, <laughs> I would just say like, uh, I just want to say maybe uh, this would be um, fair as we require, uh, we, we ask all the students to do. So um, you don't have to, you know, spend too much time on the ones you missed, the action plan and the weekly action plans. But uh, maybe at least this will give some ideas to think about your final report. And next week, you will be, this will help you to prepare for your final report. So just to go through and then if you have time, just to go through. But, but true, we, in the end, we really look at your final report. Okay, um, from Jen. In the survey, there's no checkbox for renewable energy action item. Should I check other? UA, do you wanna go through the survey? Can you go back up there and see what the choices are? Uh, so it'd be like for the climate action, what are your choices? What are your choices uh, on the first page, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so so renewable energy action item. So if you were doing something related to solar, you could check it, but if you're if it's another form of renewable energy, I guess we don't have it. So you could either check other or you could check advocacy. For example, Jen, I don't know if you want to unmute yourself and tell us what your do what your action is, Jen. Um, if you're, Jen, if you're advocating for renewable energy, you could certainly do just ch check advocacy. They can, in the final report, they'll still be able to check more than one. So you could check two, you could check advocacy and then other, under other, you could put advocating for renewable energy. Sorry, I just figured out how to unmute myself. Uh, okay, do you want to, um, <laughs> So this Sharon? is, yeah, this is the one where I'm working with my, um, net zero action group and trying to convince the light you know our municipal light company that provides us with electricity to not sell their renewal energy uh, credits to polluters yeah so in massachusetts right the one you yeah you, mm -hmm. yeah yeah so um uh, not that it makes all that much difference in, in the end, but that's why, you know, there's really no option to, to check for what it is I'm doing. So I, I feel like it's advocacy or other. Can I check both? Or do, what, do you need, yes. what do I need to do? Yeah, you can check both. Okay, thanks. Um, and I know that you had found a TED Talk from 
Todd Rogers, right? Yeah, it wasn't all that. Oh, okay. It was kind. It was a little too generic and not not compelling enough okay. for my purpose. So okay, so it didn't really help with the panic principles. Not in my application, no. And and um, I, I stu I still I love the idea of providing them with some kind of a uh, webinar to look at. I just need to to focus on that this week. Okay, so you might still contact him. Oh, contact him. Um, hmm. I'm going to look for webinars first, but or, or not webinars, but some kind of a video explaining my the concept. Uh, mm -hmm. Or I might contact him. Yeah, that's that's a good idea still. Yeah, I think it would be fun. I'm I'm even thinking maybe I should contact him because <laughs> he's a mechanic principal. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks, Jen, and keep sure, up the great too. work. Thanks. I okay. have I got I got a private uh, question. I just want to clarify that um, somebody asked me about the, the presentation and the, the final report. Uh, this is two different things and then the presentation is optional. So only if you sign up for the presentation, uh, you need to upload your slides. If you don't um, present on May 15th, you don't need to upload your slides, okay? And then the final form is for everyone. So it's, uh, we will release it early next week or earlier. And then you will, be, you will get a message about it. And then the deadline is May 19th. If you have uh, some, uh, you know, um, you know, certain, um, you know, situations that you need uh, a little more time, you need to email us. You still there, Yue? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, great. So, um, so iPhone uh, has commented that the course really emphasized food, and I think that iPhone would have liked to see in other subjects as well as food. Um, so this is a great point, and I'd love to hear some people's opinion or iPhone if you want to share more what you're thinking about. I think, you know, and, and when we've done this before, we haven't emphasized food as much. And the reason we ended up emphasizing food so much is that we had a webinar series at the same time as the class. And so the webinar series was open to people who didn't sign up for the class. And then we used it also for the class. Um, the other reason we emphasize food is it's just something that when we've done this before, so many people picked as their climate action that it's just a very popular action, something you can do in your home. It has, it just engages a lot of people because if you're on the WhatsApp group, for example, people are posting a lot of photos of meals and it's just a fun thing to share. But, you know, we've had, and then of course, the other reason is because it's one of the top 10, actually one of the top five climate actions. So, um, you know, we could have focused more on women in education, for example. Marianne, I think we'll lose your- Go into a school. Okay. Oh. Is your connection okay? We lost you for a few seconds. Okay, it's unstable, but I think I'm fine now. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, so where did, you, where did I stop off? <laughs> um, we have uh, speakers. Way back on the webinar? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, because the webinar was combined also because food is one of the top five actions on drawdown. So it's a very important action. It's an action that's fun to share. You've seen on WhatsApp group people sharing their photos of their meals, which look really delicious and it engages other people in the WhatsApp group because it's so fun to see photos of what people are eating and have descriptions of what they're eating. And as Mar Mavar Mavara says, it's a very high impact action. But, you know, certainly Drawdown has lots and lots of actions. And in the future, we could have a webinar series or emphasize other actions. So we're always open to suggestions. 
and you know we encourage you to look at other actions if the food actions don't work for you or if you're not interested in them i just want to share actually this is a survey results from week two and then we ask you this is just very beginning maybe some people have changed but this is just some initial idea what kind of action you want to take and then you'll see like reduced food waste plant rich diets so those are ranked the uh, very high top uh, on the list uh, but uh, we also have some other uh, some participants focusing on other actions uh, like uh, recycling public transit tree planting composting and solar, uh, solar energy, so some other um, actions. So we definitely welcome uh, uh, different kinds of the actions you are, plan you are planning. Okay, so we have a question. If we are not able to implement the plan, can we share our action plan alone? Correct. Yes, that is correct. If you were not able to implement the plan, in your final report and if you choose to do a presentation in your presentation you can just report on what you're planning to do okay so shubham is it necessary that the plan should be a part of drawdown project or is it just for our own reference i'm not sure what you mean i don't know if you want to unmute yourself and try to explain your question a little bit more, unless you way you get it. Um, I, is he asking if they can do something not on the drawdown list? I don't think so. Shubham, are you there? And do you know, maybe you way you can see if you can unmute. Uh, Shubham? Uh, uh, oh, uh, great. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Hi, where are you calling from? I'm calling from India. Okay, hi, welcome. Where in India? Uh, Haryana. Okay, I didn't quite get that, but that's okay. It's, it's, um, near, it's near to New Delhi. Near New Delhi, okay, great. So uh, my question is that uh, if my action plan is not uh, specified into the drawdown uh, top 100 specified uh, uh, action plans. So is it possible that I can take that topic in yes. my action plan? Well, so what is your topic? What are you thinking about? Um, uh, I'm talking, I'm thinking about taking a sustainable fashion. Like, can you, can you tell us anything more about what the action is? Uh, it's basically uh, uh, talking with industry people or uh, talking with people that how they can reduce the carbon footprints that is uh, that is caused because of uh, the unethical or uh, bad practices that we do uh, in the fashion industry like uh, using of uh, some uh, polyester or something uh, some uh, fabric that is not ethical and harms our climate and increase the carbon footprint so you're, you are trying, so what is the action you would want people to take? Or so my action includes two things. So one is for the normal, for normal public and one is for the industry people. Mm -hmm. So for industry people, I wish them that they should uh, use more of organic, uh, organic fabrics to manufacture their products or don't use uh, uh, dyes that are harmful for the water bodies and uh, for the environment and for normal people to uh, use basically recycled clothes or just uh, that doesn't harm the environment recycling clothes or use clothes so that uh, we can minimize the basically the carbon footprint that because uh, fashion industry is regarded as the second most uh, pollution making industry in the world. Okay, so it sounds like you're advocating. In a way, yeah. it's a little bit similar to what Jen is talking about. So she's yeah. trying to get her government to take an, uh, no, her utility to take an action. You're trying to get an, yeah, an, an And so I would say that, uh, yes, you can do that and that 
if for it to fit well with what we're talking about, you would ask other people, you know, maybe a couple of friends or colleagues to also take the same action, which is writing a letter or whatever form of advocacy. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. So, thank you so much. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to mention is that Zeng uh, Yue, you can say her full name, sorry. Uh, but she's also wanting, she's on the call today and she's also working with the fabric industry. So I don't know if you, it, if you, um, in China, if there might be an opportunity for you to share your ideas and the kinds of things that you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Zeng. Or Zeng, if you wanted to unmute yourself, I know I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but. Um, <laughs> yes, I can hear. Hello, Zeng. Hello. Mm. So Zeng, do you want to just explain really briefly what your ideas are for, or what you're already doing with the fabric industry, the textile industry? Uh, in China, the one of the largest companies have been collecting second-hand clothes. I mean, most small or middle-sized the clothes recycling company eventually go to them called Pure Link, and Pure Link. Uh, send half of the good clothes to uh, international market like the, in Africa and other um, places and uh, half the better one just to refabricate to make into PPE and something like that. And we, but in China itself, it's hard to, but when we refabricate, they go to very low end. It's very difficult to go back to the fabric industry due to the, there's no criteria, and uh, our labeling is very, very um, not standard. Like we say it's cotton, but in fact it might not be cotton, or oh, the outside is cotton, the inside is the PE. So we try to make a criteria for that, so the fabric can eventually go back to the, like the raw material or second-hand material. So we want to create a group for this. So because uh, these, uh, these fabrics are not uh, degradable, so they actually land up in the landfills and are not uh, degraded. So that basically creates a lot of climate uh, disaster in the environment. In fact, only some go to the landfill or the incineration. Most can be used, but they uh, used to make PPE or all the things, which is very kind of like a not used to its maximum value. We want it to go back to as material. So the fabric company, the, the clothing company can use this as material. So that's our plan, not just to turn them into the, also the, the not so good clothes can refabric into, to make it a carpet, something like that. So that's the lowest end. And the worst will go to the landfill or the incineration. Okay, so um, yeah, I don't know if there's enough overlap in the kinds of things you're thinking about, but feel free to message each other on the chat if you yeah. want to follow up. No. No. Okay. Sure. Okay, great. Um, so thank you, Tseng, and thank you. Subharam? Subham, Shubham. Subham, sorry. Okay, great. <laughs> no issues. Um, okay, great. So, um, are there any other questions? Or, Yue, did you have anything more to share? Um, Parisa said she has a question. Who's that? Parisa. Oh, okay. Uh, Mariana, I have a question regarding, you know, uh, the action plan from uh, on behalf of some of our uh, Farsi group in our Farsi group. Uh, some of the people they wanted uh, as a group of I think three or four or maybe six or seven, but they tried to translate a book regarding climate actions and the way that the people can get informed and get ready to uh, do something regarding 
saving earth and uh, climate action, you know. Uh, but uh, they weren't sure if uh, by this translation as a group, it can consider as their uh, action plan. Interesting. So you're mm -hmm. saying in the Farsi speaking group, how many people? Uh, the group that we actually made a group, another group regarding the action club in, in, in plan, it was, I think, uh, I'm not sure if it's seven person or eight persons, because I told them I like to translate with you, help you, but the thing is, I really don't have the time to do that. Sure. I will ask from Marianne if it's okay, uh, acceptable as the uh, action plan. Um, and do you know what they're translating? Which it, it's a book regarding, uh, I, can, uh, I can write it to you, the name of the book, but the thing is, it's almost like, I guess, 150 or 200 pages. But the thing is, it's everything regarding the environment, regarding what you can do, regarding, you know, saving some of the way, using some of the way for, way for climate action, informing people, you know. It's the same field of uh, story, I mean, same field of information, but the thing is they have to translate to Farsi. So uh -huh. they told even, even they were thinking about some seminars or some lectures, if they can translate it to, you know, the concept is translation of the material, which is available to the people for from the for the people uh, from Iran as yeah. the action plan I told them okay let me ask and then I will let you know so um, this doesn't really fit with what we had in terms of the requirements but I think it's a great um, you know thing that they're doing and they could reach lots of people so mm -hmm. why doesn't somebody in that group just email the civic ecology lab and explain a little bit what they're doing and then we can work out a plan to make it i think we can sort of be flexible and make it count for the course oh okay so i will give them uh, the answer the reply that you can be in touch through the email mm -hmm. uh, you can give them what you're going to translate is that right and who is gonna participate in that yeah mm -hmm. okay okay i will transfer the message to them Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay, any other questions? Um, so, you know, if you have suggestions, other than continue our WhatsApp group and our Facebook group in terms of continuing our discussions, please let us know. Um, and then besides that, I don't think I have anything more to add. UA, did you have anything more? Um. Not, not really. I just um, look forward to, you know, receiving, seeing, uh, reading your final action plan. Okay. Okay. And we hope that you will sign up for Friday, May 15th for the presentations, because it's always fun to hear from you about what you're doing in your different countries and settings. All right. So I think if we have no more questions, then we can probably just end a few minutes early. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, Marianne, sorry to interrupt you again. Just so I just wanted to know if this 15 minutes, which is for that webinar, you know, on 19 May 19 or 15, the thing is that 10 minutes or even five minutes, is it enough <laughs> to talk about something? <laughs> yeah, you got to be very concise. Um, <laughs> you have five slides. You got to figure out how you can say them all in five minutes. That's actually. Oh my God, Marianne, this is a stretch for me. I, it's very hard to make just five minutes, everything inside five minutes. Yeah, I know it's a challenge, but um, yeah. actually, sometimes you can communicate a lot better if it's five minutes than if it's a half hour because people will follow yeah. you and they'll just get the essential. So consider it a challenge, okay? Sure. <laughs> really appreciate all your help with everything. Thank you, thank you. I really, I wish this uh, communication and group continues, you know, because every day we learn a new thing and then it affects, we can have better impact and better effect on our society. Uh -huh. Well, we certainly appreciate everything you've done. Thank you, thank you very much for you. Really, I'm appreciating, I really appreciate your efforts, you and also everybody who is in that group. I mean, in, I know behind the curtain, there are so many people who are active for uh, making, uh. facilitating this situation for us, really. Uh. Thank you very much. Okay.
Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, uh, make sure you all go on to edX Edge and get all your assignments done. And then, as I, as UA mentioned, on Friday, we'll have more details about your final project, which is also your action plan, final action plan. And then also go and sign up for your final presentations, your PowerPoint presentations, because we really want to learn more about what you're doing and be able to discuss it. So Shubham thinks that Parisa should get an extra five minutes, but we're going to not give you an extra five minutes. Sorry, everybody's going to stick to five minutes. <laughs> okay. Thanks, everybody. Sure, I will do that. I will try my best. I practice so many times. I can do it in five minutes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. Have a good week. Thank you Bye -bye. very much, Marianne.